And the conversation in Dallas seems to be all about this idea of having three 1,000-yard receivers. Well, they don't need any advice from me, but I'm going to give them some anyway. This is something I like to call unsolicited advice, and it is as simple as this. Hey, Mike McCarthy, the way you win this year, Zeke Elliott needs to lead the league in rushing. You need to ride Zeke. The guy who owns your team decided to pay him when he didn't have to a couple of years ago, and the reason is because he is the reason you win. In 2016 and 2018, Zeke Elliott led the NFL in rushing. Both those years, the Cowboys won the division, and they were third overall in time of possession. If you have three 1,000-yard receivers, do you know what you also have? A lot of three and outs. You know what that turns into? A lot of bad days for your defense. So my unsolicited advice, with all the money you're paying Dak, and as good as your receiving core is, feed Zeke. It's as simple as that. That's what I think. My former cowboy is Marcus Spears. What do you think? You're right. You're right. And I fight this movement, G, because sometimes the game plan allows for you to do different things. But the bottom line is this. Dallas defense last year was overexposed because Dallas wanted to throw the ball a ton. They wanted to push the ball downfield, which resulted in a lot of three and outs. And the defense gave up a lot of plays. And I think sometimes we get so enamored with the conversation about Dak and this offense and how much success that they had that we didn't realize last year Dallas's defense was susceptible to a lot of things. And a big reason why they didn't have a lot of success because this defense gave up big plays. But with you saying feed Zeke from a football standpoint as a defensive player, there is nothing better to watch than when you on the sideline getting oxygen and water as your offensive line grinding it out and stepping on people's neck and continuing to hand the ball off. When I was in Dallas, I played with Larry Allen. Larry Allen had a sign like this where he would do this in the game and he would be letting everybody in the stadium know we about to run the ball down your throat and it ain't nothing you can do about it. Dallas hmm. needs to get back to that, so I'm with you. Feed Zeke and let everything else come off of that and you can still have success on the outside. Now, I never have to ask an offensive lineman if he thinks they should be running the ball, but I will anyway. Jeff Saturday, what do you think? Man, I'm so fired up, Swagoo. It's like, it's like he woke up. He had a cup of coffee. Everything's back to normal. That's what I'm talking about, my man. Run the rock. I don't need to hear about 3,000-yard receivers. I, I, I love that receivers want to have 1,000 yards. I don't care anything about that. But my man Zeke, to all the stats that you just said, Greeny, this is how you win football games in the NFL. And by the way, their offensive line is a little bit banged up. Guys aren't as healthy as they have been in the past. Not catastrophic injuries, but small. What you don't want to do is try to protect Dak Prescott from banged up guys. Move forward. Move guys off the line of scrimmage. Let Zeke run behind his pads. We're going to be back and get, uh, get back to win that division. Graziano, let me ask you what you're hearing out of Dallas as far as the new offense with their head coach, but the same play caller. What do you expect as far as the run pass situation? I don't expect a drastically new offense in Dallas. They kept Kellen Moore as the coordinator for a reason, and I think Mike McCarthy will have some influence on it, obviously, given his background and his success. But uh, I don't think much of the offense is going to change. I think they love what Dak Prescott gave them last year. Ezekiel Elliott was fourth in the league in rushing. It's not like he fell into the you know, 25th place on that list. So I, I think they'll continue to try and be multiple, and especially to the point about the offensive line being banged up, I think they're going to have to be in order to make sure to keep defenses guessing. What we can say about the history of Mike McCarthy, at least in Green Bay, and of course he had Aaron Rodgers, is they never ran the ball. They didn't well, run the ball in Green Bay at all. Very quickly, McElroy, what do you think? Do they need to run the rock, and what do you expect from Dallas? It's a quarterback-driven league. Of course we're going to listen to Spears and Saturday. Oh, the trenches. Oh, we're all about grinding it out. No, no, no. It's about your quarterback. That's why we just heard both of them just a little <laughs> while ago say the Chiefs are the favorite to win the Super Bowl again. You can talk about running it all you want. But this offense is trying to win a Super Bowl. That's the ultimate goal. And if they don't empower Dak Prescott from start to finish and allow him to continue to grow and turn those three weapons that I think all are legitimate, 1A, 1B, 1C wide receivers with Gallup, and I think Lamb is the steal of the draft, and of course Amari Cooper, then, man, I'm telling you, this offense and the quarterback position especially is what carries you to Super Bowls, and that's ultimately the Cowboys' goal. 
That's why you need a quarterback on the show every single day because Golly. they'll say things like that. And then Marcus will look the way he looks <laughs> and Jeff will look the way he looks. In case you ever wonder, do all the other players in the league hate the quarterbacks? The answer is yes. And you just saw it and you just saw why. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.